Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the very long-awaited sequel, or long-awaited episode, I should say, of Blu-ray Day. This is episode 5. Now, I'd like to point out that the Blu-rays you see in front of you have not been purchased today. Only a, ha a select few have been purchased today and, I guess, a couple days ago. Uh, but since people have been asking, there's not much going on in July, as I said. I thought I would uh, revi revive the series. So um, all the all the movies you see here are basically the ones that I haven't covered since my last episode, which was episode four, which was a lot earlier this year. I don't remember. Actually, I think I, hold on a minute. Yeah, it was like right in January is when I did episode four. So this was six months ago. Uh, six months of Blu-rays in the making, pretty much. I, I definitely haven't been buying as many, but. Okay, let's start off from the top here. I saw this at Best Buy. I had to pick it up. This is the newest Russell Peters Blu-ray. It's also on DVD. I did not know he was putting another one on Blu-ray, or even on Blu-ray. But uh, I saw it in the DVD format, and I'm like, you know what? Before I buy this, let me see if uh, let me see if it's on Blu-ray. And sure enough, they had like a million copies. I'm like, yep, I'm buying it because I love Russell Peters, one of my favorite comedians. But it doesn't seem to be a whole lot, just a lot of laughs. I'm going to look forward to watching that one. Now these two I'll basically do as a couple, because I also got these today. Uh, this is Transporter 2 and 3. If you guys did remember watching my um, an older Blu-ray day, I got the first one. But I never found a reason to buy the second one or the third one, because the third one was like 30 bucks. But uh, this was like 12 bucks, and this one was like 13 or something, so I'm like, why not? So... Uh, I, I've, n I've only seen the first one, like I said, so the, the next two should be our new experience for me. I heard the second one was actually really good. Oh, there's still some gunk on it. There we go. Um, yeah, so not a whole lot inside, as you can see, but uh, I've heard good things about this movie, and hopefully I won't be disappointed. <laughs> Now, Transporter 3, this is the newest one, obviously. There hasn't been a 4 yet, as far as I know. This one came out in 2009. I remember everyone was itching for another sequel. Um, I heard it def it wasn't, oops, jeezy. Uh, i got to flip those. Uh, definitely, I heard it definitely wasn't as good as um, the second one or the first one. Uh, but I heard the second one was the best out of all of them, but I could be wrong. I mean, this is just from what people say. And uh, this is just a code on the left. I, th I don't know if there's any back art. Some of them have the back art. No, it's just a generic Blu-ray back art. So you have a feature film on the right, and I think you have the digital copy on the left. Not that I ever use the digital copies, so it's not that big of a deal to me, but I guess it's handy. I mean, I don't watch, watch Blu-rays on the computer. And the thing is, though, my, my laptop does have a Blu-ray drive in it, so... I tested it though, and since my laptop only does 720p, what's the point? <laughs> so that's Transform uh, Transporter 3. I'll be looking forward to watching that one as well. This one I saw it. I had to buy it. I was basically waiting for something like this. This is the Austin Powers trilogy. Uh, everywhere I went, they only had either the first one or the second one, but they never had the third one. Mainly, they only had the first one. And for some bizarre reason, they pack packaged this for 30 bucks, I think, whereas every single other one was like 19 bucks. I'm like. Why? So you can pay 60 for all three or get this for half the price. But you got to keep your eyes open for that. So I've, I've, I haven't gotten through the whole thing yet. I watched the first one the other night, but uh, definitely be watching more. I like collecting trilogies like this. I think it's uh, a lot better. Now that, that I bought the other day, these are all old and I bought a while ago. So this, you have to get it when you can. Like uh, this is The Hangover, obviously. Uh, if you guys have never seen it, you really should. Really good movie. Uh, the thing I didn't like, though, is that there was a lot of hype about it. Like, everyone's just saying, oh, it's fabulous. You know, it's <laughs> fabulous. It's one of the best movies I've ever seen. Well, that's not true, but it was a very, very funny movie. And if you guys know, noticed, I, I do have a shirt that's pretty much, you know, making it, like, from the movie or from The Hangover. So, oh, I'll show you inside first. Take it out. Um, see if I even remember. Yeah, the digital copies right in my beak, so I'll flip. Oh, there's two digital copies, so I'll take that out completely. But not a whole lot, just the feature film and the digital copy on the left. But once again, it's a gimmick. Like what I've noticed though, is that they always charge you more for a Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy because sometimes they'll they'll give you all three, right? 
But the thing is, uh, like if you got a Blu-ray, why would you want it on DVD? And why would you want a digital copy? No one wants to take things on the go anymore, you know what I mean? So I don't know. But Now, Gone in 60 Seconds, you have to have this movie. It's one of the best movies of the, uh, of the decade. Because it came out in 2000, I believe. One of the I love this movie. It like if you like fast cars and you know I guess Nick Cage. And this is the one for you. It, it does have some back art on it, as you can see. You got the 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 Shelby, uh, the GT500 there with uh, the cop and his brother, and then Nick Cage and Angelina Jolie. Uh, definitely a great flick. I, I I knew it had to be a part of my collection, so. I can't even remember which one it was in. Okay, we'll put it like that. As you can see, I'm kind of rushing through this because, like, these are kind of old news, you know what I mean? They're not fresh, so they're, I know what's in them. But uh, that's just my prerogative. This is Wanted. I uh, got this for super cheap at Walmart, so I figured, why would not just pick it up? Uh, definitely a, a pretty good movie. A lot of people didn't like it, and I get why, but I, I fairly enjoyed it. I like the storyline. I like the, uh, like, you know, the, 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 their power, so to speak. And if I'm not mistaken, this was inspired by a, another film or a book. I don't remember what it was. But I did play the video game for this that released in 2009, and that thing was pretty shitty, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but pretty generic. You get a nice slipcover with the 3D, the bullets kind of, you know, indented. You can see that, or whatever you want to say. You guys know that I kind of like those slipcovers. They're pretty neat, you know, just a nice way to dress up the Blu-ray or whatever it is. Okay, this is, was an amazing movie. The only complaint I have about this movie was that it was too short. It's a, I think it was an hour and a half. It needed an extra half hour. Trust me, it did. I mean, even though it was really good up to it, it ended super quickly. Like, I mean, there was, uh, like, so much leading up to it. And you're just like, oh, man, this is just a phenomenal movie. And then all of a sudden, you know, he, he gets the job done in a matter of, like, 15 minutes. So something that should have been a little longer ended pretty quickly but however it was an amazing movie definitely recommend picking that up if you haven't already now I'll do these as a whole uh, these are the um, Fast and the Furious you know all whoops, all four movies um, basically at the time this one didn't exist I mean it did exist but uh, I couldn't find it so this is all I could find the, fir the first one, the third one and the fourth one first one was great, third one was pretty good fourth one wasn't that good I felt like they kinda straight away from their roots, you know what I mean? But, uh, however, they were good. And then finally, I called them, and I'm like, do you have this in yet? They're like, yes, we do. So I went over and grabbed it. And the thing is, they marked it up. They marked it up because they knew how much in demand it was, because this was my favorite one out of all of them. I don't know why. I just liked it the best. But um, the funny thing was now, uh, I look, all four of them are 10 bucks. I was like, oh, my God, you kidding me? <laughs> but regardless, I still am glad I have them. Now, if we open them up, I don't think there's... Too too much. No, it's just just telling you. See that you have another. It's a DVD copy as well. It's Blu-ray and DVD. Um, I think all of them come with that, and then more movies from. Oh, that's a digital copy. Excuse me. Yeah, and then for Fast Two, Too Fast, Too Furious. I think it's the same thing. All the same. It's just same cut, like you know, color with the little advertising. I think they're all like that. I'm like, I mean, yeah, this one's got the orange color. <laughs> And that, and same thing, nothing new. And then this one's got the red color. Oh no, this one's blue as well. Okay, you think they'd be red because this thing's red, but they flipped it. But this is the newest one. Uh, actually, no, it's not Fast Five. I haven't seen it, but I heard it's pretty good. So uh, definitely want to take a look at that. Now, first things first. Finally, this last one. Don't take this seriously, guys. It was kind of a joke. This is The Wizard of Oz. Uh, I never bought this. Um, back in, uh, when was it? I think it was January around there when I was uh, seeing this one girl. Uh, for my birthday, she got this for me because we kind of had a running joke with it. Um, we, I don't know, I would like make fun of the munchkins and things and, and sing the, you know, the Lollipop Guild song. I'd love it. I just, I just, because it would annoy the hell out of her. So I just sing that and I don't know, she kind of just picked it up. It's a really cheap movie, honestly. It is HD, but they obviously didn't have the technology back then to make it widescreen. So it is in uh, 4x3 ratio, but it is 1080p, you know what I mean? So it's not widescreen, but it's 1080p. But this is a classic. This movie is old, man. This came out in 39, I think. 1939. 
and uh, the first color movie ever. What they actually did, fun fact, if you didn't know about this, this movie actually wasn't shot in color. But what they did was they actually uh, painted the frames. I'm not even kidding, they painted them. So that's why she goes from black and white and steps into this wonderful world, world of color. Well, they, they, they colored the, each frame. Like They had an artist come in and color them. So considering they put that much effort in that, much movie, that type of movie, I'll bet they were like, just blown away when people saw it. They're like, whoa, color, you know, for the first time ever. It was pretty original, for sure. So uh, that's why the colors seem a little more fake than other. That's why. It's not real color. But uh, regardless, this is a classic. I do recommend you at least watch it if you haven't already. But... That's my latest edition of Blu-ray Day. I apologize if it wasn't like you know as in-depth as my normal ones are, but I kind of had a lot to get through, and I just wanted to get through them quickly. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, bringing back a lot more uh, shows, I think. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you later.